example, if in the past, the feedback giving process is manager talks to employee, make sure that the feedback is spread across. It also involves letting other people share their feedback. If I'm a manager and I have three or four senior friends in the company, I would not hesitate and tell them, hey, from time to time, if you see my direct report, could you also please mentor him about this? I don't mind if you spend lunch with them, for example, and share with them what are your thoughts, how you grew up in the company and how you uh, advanced the ladder, for example, in the organization. So a 360 degree feedback is important. And this is where you highly encourage your direct report. Do not let me monopolize your learning. Also spread yourself across. Ask feedback from your friends, from colleagues in other departments, from your third party agencies, right? And also, if you are a manager, when I say informal, casual feedback, it can happen in many ways. For example, if you're stuck in traffic, and I can't wait to be stuck in traffic again, I'm sort of missing it now because we haven't been out in the road for the longest time. If you're stuck in the car and your direct report made a brilliant presentation that afternoon, send a WhatsApp message and tell them, that was, that was a great presentation. Good job. I love what you did, right? That's casual feedback. That's informal feedback. And that's part of the frequency that you want to adopt to them. Another example could be you can schedule coffee sessions, right? So it could be on a Friday afternoon when there is more lax time. Do a, what, like when I was in my company before, a coffee session means that you will check in with your manager and say, what are your personal issues in life? What are your current hobbies? Tell me what do you think uh, are the projects that you'd like to engage with in the future. So the more casual and informal these encounters are, the better. If you're at the pantry making some coffee in the morning and your direct report happens to be there, that's an opportunity to share a an informal, casual feedback. And mind you guys, in the eyes and ears of millennials, Casual feedback is legit feedback. Don't be afraid to let loose and that not everything has to be formal. All right? Finally, gestures and actions are also forms of feedback. You don't need to verbalize them. Sometimes they can be in the form of actions. Sending them to a training. Let's say, for example, when I was younger, my manager, every time she promoted me, would always send me to an international conference abroad because that was something that I liked. And that was something, because I love traveling, for example. And that was a type of reward that was also signaling feedback that I was doing the right things, right? If one of your direct reports creates a beautiful PowerPoint slide and it was a good best practice, send that as an email to the rest of the team and say, hey guys, Mark was able to do a beautiful slide. It might be a good source of your ideas in the future, All right? So gestures, and actions are not verbal, but just the idea of doing them signals, right? So I want to emphasize, it's a signaling activity, telling to the other person that she's doing something right, right? And it's not only has to be positive, it can be in the terms of negative, for example, 